Um, the six senses, first of all, is an early Buddhist model uh, of experience. And it's kind of, I'd say, one of the most fundamental ways of breaking down experience from a kind of Buddhist contemplative perspective. And in very simple terms, the six senses includes what we in the West would call the five senses, the five physical senses, right? Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. The fifth sense being the body. And then it also includes, uh, very importantly, a sixth sense, which in the Buddhist tradition we just call mind. So we've got the five physical senses and then the sixth sense is the mind. And the basic idea with this model is that these six senses are like the basic elements of our experience. So we can see them as being in a similar way as a sort of periodic table of elements uh, where all of the sort of fundamental uh, um, elements that make up our material universe uh, are kind of identified. Here we're identifying these six basic constituent elements of conscious experience. Seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, or here we also could use the note feeling, depending on which is more appropriate or feels better for you to use. And then finally for the mind, we'll simply note that as thinking. So this is, gives us these six basic, or seven if you count the body, either one we could use, seven basic notes. Seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching or feeling, and then thinking for the mental sense. And I do, I like to think of these kind of like, you know, if there was like a periodic tel uh, element, it's like you've, one, you've got seeing, two, hearing, three, smelling, and so forth. Um, and really, just like in the material world, when we combine elements that together in a certain way, we get compounds, we get molecules, we get more complex stuff that is different from the constituent parts and yet is made up of them uh, in particular patterns. So, so the basic um, idea of this model is that all of our experience can be seen as made up of these six basic senses and everything that we see, all the complexity, everything we explored in the there is noting practice last week, which is a completely unrestricted form of practice where we're noting anything that you can, you know, any word that you can find to describe your experience is valid, right? Here, we're restricting our noting to just these six basic elements of experience. And the reason for that is because in mindfulness practice, we want to actually see what the most complex and compound and, and more abstract levels of experience are actually made up of. We want to see um, what these holes seem to be made up. What are the parts that that make up the holes of our experience because often right in this is maybe one way of defining delusion is that we 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 think that these complex holes which are made up of other parts or holes uh, we think that they are they stand alone um, we think that our emotions for example stand alone that they're experiences that com exist completely independently and then we treat them in a way we, we, we give them extra weight and significance that maybe we wouldn't necessarily need to give them if we notice, oh, there's touching, there's feeling, there's thinking, um, that, that actually what, our, what we're feeling, that our mind states, our emotions, our attitudes, that these things are actually made up of other more basic sensations, which at the level of the basic foundational sensory um, level doesn't have the same amount of charge doesn't have the same level of story. Uh, it doesn't have the same amount of drama. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really just pretty simple going on, what's going on at the bottom. Um, doesn't even have any sense of self, really. There's seeing, there's thinking, there's touching, there's not knowing. And, and this is an extra note that we can also work with in this practice. 
uh, Kenneth Volk calls this the safety release valve note. And, and I think it's, it's, this is an important note to have. And basically, you can note uncertain, don't know, pass. If there's ever a point at which you're not sure which of these six senses is predominating or what your experience is, then you can at any point note the safety release valve note. And this is useful and important because we are restricting the notes. We are restricting the words that we can use. But we're not restricting anything from or out of our experience. Again, because the, the, from the point of view of this model, all experience is made up of the six senses. So, so we have a completely unrestricted scope of what we can notice, but we are restricting um, how we're noticing it and what words we're using to help label it. 